It should be a pain in the ass for the German Puma and infantry. Albeit currently its gun is a bit underpowered. In fact, it, by the next patch, I do believe the area of effect explosion it has will be improved. Meaning it's going to be a bit more effective against infantry. And we see our friend Hauptmann Sebastian has gone. Blitzkrieg calling in stormtroopers from the 12th SS Hitler Jürgen. Panzer Shrek's going up. So I'm going to post a danger to my Churchill. Without not taking an awful lot of damage and it's firing off at the stormtroopers forcing them to hold back. Lest they be killed by the six pounder gun equipped on it. Volkskunde is forcing back a wounded recon section which has managed to secure the entire northern half and in fact I've had control of the major fuel points for quite some time now. Troops rushing in to secure the southern half, sappers beginning to re repair the church on Mark 4 and the captain is out as well looking dashing with his Webley revolver and we see the stormtroopers moving in cloaked but because he did not hold fire, they, one of them foolishly gave away himself and are now under fire from the church once more. And as we may know, not really doing a lot of damage at the moment, but again, Patch should fix that. At the moment, it works more like a deterrent to Puma armored cars and the like. Although at the same time, the stormtroopers have clearly been scared off. Puma moving out with infantry support. Although running right into the retreating stormtroopers, the Hitler Jugend SS Panzer Grenadiers. British infantry suffering losses. Churchill moving up to support and scare away the Puma. Gun firing and doing some damage to the heavy armored car, which is forced to pull back since it has nothing that can actually damage the Churchill and the only thing the Germans have at the moment is a panty trick and that's not even going to do much shot bouncing off the light cover forcing the folks Forward, the supply lines are back broken. in complete abject terror German troops securing the northern fuel point although nothing to actually connect it Meaning it's not going to be awfully useful, but it will be denying me fuel, which is just as important. Puma moving around, trying to push elsewhere. Pioneer securing the central munitions point. Troops along with a captain moving in to force away the pioneers and a armored command truck on the field. Slinking through the rather dense foliage of the area a bit of trouble. Further fighting in the west. Second stormtrooper team called in. Me keeping an infantry screen near my Churchill sensed by the stormtroopers. I know he's going to try and sneak up on it with panzer tricks. Meaning I have to try and watch out and since British detectors aren't really a lot and many are all very good I need to keep something so that the stormtroopers might accidentally run into it and not spot them. In this case again he doesn't really seem to remember to hold fire Something which you should do if you're intending to sneak up on tanks. Puma running into a second Churchill tank, which is now rushing forward, intending to kill the cat. Shot firing, missing, not doing enough damage. Full is finding themselves caught out in the open. Machine gun firing, shot, missing, and hitting the water instead. A nice splash. Full is trying to pull back, still nothing. So far the Churchill seems to be working more like a deterrent and anti-vehicle platform, but that is not actually all bad. So it's certainly having the effect of allowing me to hold on to a lot more territory. Further stormtrooper incursion. Note that he only equips them with one panther trip per squad, not two as some might do since that allows him to retain still three stormtroopers with rifles, which is actually quite alright. And he doesn't risk losing a lot of panzer tricks all of a sudden. For example, dropping two to me, which would be quite devastating, not only in replacement, but also because the fact that then I'll have panzer tricks, probably the most powerful answer, handheld anti tank weapon in the game. Troops moving ahead, 
Churchill guarding the bridge and the central island. And I'm securing this strategic point mostly for Our psychological purposes since I'm pretty sure anyone finding that the territory right next to the base being secured is going to put him under quite a lot of pressure. <laughs> so, and we have a Geschützwagen on the way. 21st Panzer Division support. I was going to say, all oh right, pack 40 mounted on a Hotchkiss 39 chassis made by Major Becker and his Baustab Becker, exclusive only to the 21st Panzer Division. Moving out, probably quite intent on knocking out my Churchill right away. Infantry section holding out, taking fire from the Schutzwagen, but not actually hit. Infantry section holding out in the north by a second incursion. Dual attack, probably trying to surround something. But the Churchill scares off the German troops, damaging the Puma in the process. Pulling back in the south, and we have a Cromwell command tank from the armor command truck. That's giving me some minor bonuses to my Churchill. Let's go back to me. And we see that the church shoots fragments it actually takes quite a lot of damage from the Churchill. While the Churchill can actually survive relatively nicely from a direct hit. Changing back to me. Under influence from the command tank, increased rate of fire, I do believe, and range. The Schutzwagen gun destroyed, leaving it quite vulnerable to the Churchill stormtroopers in the building, keeping my Churchill back. Quite a nice move, having the stormtroopers cover the entrance into here with the stormtroopers. Panzer uh, equipped stormtroopers. Panzerfaust knocking out the gun on my Churchill, forcing a full retreat and repairs. But Sabas are nearby and they are getting the expert repair upgrade. Volkswagen and further stormtroopers are massing for an assault down south since they are figuring not much is holding them back there. Puma moving in again, heavily damaged. Gates shoots back and some seeming pioneer repairs. Cromwell now on the field as well, killing a few stormtroopers and stormtroopers. Now under command of the command Cromwell as well. Stormtroopers moving out, hoping to knock out a tank or two. Still only one Panzer Shrek per squad. Good tactical decision, if you ask me. Geschützwagen rushing out once more. Stormtroopers nearby securing the point. He's in fact going a lot heavily on Stormtroopers. Three Stormtrooper squads. For the moment, something some players do that they skip the creek barracks and then instead rely on Stormtroopers for heavy infantry and anti-tank support. Knocking out one, Churchill. Cromwell doing some damage but being knocked out. Crashes in through the fence and into the suburb building. Ruining the house and probably any property value it had. And again, a war has a tendency of doing the same. Further fighting, Stormtrooper securing the building once more, seeking cover. Puma holding out, Ch second Churchill moving in, trying to do some damage and provide support, not hitting. Second Cromwell on the way. Infantry section moving up from the south, surrounding the German troops who are held out here. Not much activity in the north though, a bit of back and forth as the recon section is recapturing and some folks are just trying to prevent me, but bad cover is causing them heavy losses. Back in the hot spot, so Puma button down by heavy Bren fire and a Cromwell now on the way is going to out. No better receive for the German troops, perhaps something he should have considered a bit since it does increase survivability of most of the and infantry in particular since the stormtroopers are quite expensive to call in and I do need them force as well. Stormtroopers holding out among the pipes and gas tanks from 
more banging in, forcing the stormtroopers to retreat. They have managed to deplete the Brent carrier team, or Brent team, gun team, forcing a retreat. And now we have a Firefly on the way to help against the Geschützwagen's. Geschützwagen number two on the way. Second Churchill out. Geschützwagen heavily damaged, in fact. Two Geschützwagen's on the field. Well, tanks are finally at our disposal. And Churchill crocodiles now available. Should I want those? Cromwell edging forward with a damaged command tank in tow. Open fire on the garrison. Stormtroopers causing some losses. Schutzwagen moving in, trying to take it out. One of our sectors. But no luck. It seems it has a bit of trouble maneuvering, but opens fire on the command tank. No, the Cromwell actually forcing a retreat. Eager Schutzwagen being dangerous, but also receiving a nerf next patch, meaning it won't do as much damage. Enemy forces now the Germans are down to 100, 100 command points. In fact, less victory points. As I hold all three victory points themselves. <coughs> Regrouping a bit up here. Plenty of wounded stormtroopers and folks going this in fact again, are not running under point. capacity since it probably doesn't have the resources to enforce them all. And the shoots back number one heavily damaged. Probably going to go down in second. Engine destroyed. And now completely destroyed. The shoots back number two caught out in the open. Cromwell and Firefly opening fire causing much more heavy damage. The shoots back in time to take out the Firefly, but misses. Gun destroyed and Firefly going to knock it out. Yes, the shoots back number two down. Stormtroopers rushing up, or storming up, I suppose. Stormtroopers under heavy tank fire and rifling this nearby. Medic packs going up for the stormtroopers, providing some healing, but also slowing them down and completely taken out by a shot from the Cromwell. Good shot there, Nathan. Stormtroopers advancing. 12 minutes under heavy pressure from the tanks who are quite deadly under the veteran T2 command tank, providing quite some nice bonuses for the tanks. Increased accuracy and such, I believe. And Cromwell opening further fire on the combined footing with the stormtroopers pinning them down. And we have a Churchill ABRE with a spigot mortar. Quite dangerous. Forcing a complete route and the German points. troops notice it and we have a pioneer attempt. But stopped by the courageous captain and his weapon revolver, almost killing the pioneer the team. Has arrived. And pulling back, but they have secured the six central victory point, meaning that the range of victory points isn't as high positions. as previous. Repair attempts probably going to go on here in the center, so I can keep my tanks on the field for a bit longer. No sappers though, I do believe I must have lost.